For the sign of Sagittarius, hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. So Sagittarius, in the recent past, we have the Nine of Wands. Now, keep in mind, the Nine of Wands, when it comes to love, it's important to remember no relationship and nothing on earth, in fact, can stand up to constant picking apart. So try, or you should have tried in the past, to give your loved one some breathing space. If you were not committed and you were looking for a relationship, just remember or just know the reason why you probably didn't find what you were looking for is because the time was simply not right for you. Now, the question you would have needed to ask yourself was, are there things about you that you would like to change? Is this a good time to get to know yourself whole emotionally? So, that when you're ready for a new relationship, that the person you attract into your life is whole also. So, in the recent past, you should have not been in too much of a hurry or you knew that you were not too much in a hurry. And this card is paired with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is a very good card in the tarot for love. If you're already in a relationship, it's very possible that it would have deepened and it became better and much sweeter. If you're single, this would have been a great time to get out and meet people, to get out, mingle, have conversations with, 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 uh, with strangers, with other people that you meet without being married to. Uh, that would have been a good thing to do. And the, the outcome would have been uh, really good at that time. Because the ideal then was to have fun. And that's the recent past. Now we move on to the present. And we have the judgment card. Now, with the judgment card, if you're already in a relationship, this can be a make or break period. Now this is a time to get very clear, get specific about what you want out of life and out of your relationships. Then take the steps it takes to make it come about. If you're seeking new love or a relationship, it may come about in the near future, but you, you're going to need to take steps to make sure that you're not jumping to conclusions, positive or negative, about this new person, your new love, and vice versa. So keep in mind, slow and steady will win the race. And it's paired with the High Priestess. Now this can be a magical, mystical time for love for you if you're interested. If you are a female, you'll very much find people, uh, I could say, throwing themselves at you. Uh, you're very attractive. You're shining right now. Um, a lot of people are interested in you. They're drawn to you. Now the problem is with that is that you'll attract both good and the bad. And it's not always easy to tell which is which. That's going to be the catch. Now, you'll have the power of femininity if you're a female and masculinity if you're a male. It'll, it'll be at your disposal at this time. Now, keep in mind, at first glance, that may seem great. Okay, so with these two cards paired together, the judgment card, if you're in a relationship, it could be a make it or break it period. It could be a make or break period. So communicate. Uh, take 
time to get very clear about what you want. Okay, and if you're seeking a relationship, it could come about in the near future. Okay, but take steps to make sure you're not jumping to any conclusions about this new love. And it's paired with the high priest. It's a great time. If you do meet someone, it's a very mystical, magical time. Just keep in mind, don't jump to any conclusions about this new lover. Okay, and if you're in a relationship, um, uh, it could be at a make or break. But uh, if it breaks, you, um, you're the high priestess. So you'll find uh, someone better for you. Um, because like I said, the high priestess is all about a magical, mystical time. So you, you probably uh, turn around and find something even better if you find with the judgment card, the make or break is a break. But hopefully you'll work it out. And then that's gonna be the present. Now we move on to the challenge we have the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords, something could be troubling you with regards to your relationship. Make sure you're not ignoring your gut feelings. If you feel that something in the relationship is unhealthy, and more than likely you're quite correct. If you suspect that something is going on behind your back, your best bet is to ask your partner about it first. If you've recently met someone, don't get too carried away in believing that all is what it seems to be. Because we all know trust, it takes time to develop, to grow. So don't be in too much of a hurry. And the Nine of Swords is paired with the Seven of Swords. Okay, if you take a good look at the picture in this card, uh, it's pretty much showing something like if you're already in a committed relationship, it could be a clear message that trust is crucial. If you're feeling suspicious for some reason about your partner, make it a point to talk about it even if it's hard, even if, even if it's a difficult thing to do. Because just keep in mind, if you're passive aggressive about it, it's only gonna make things worse. Also, if you're looking for love at this time, you could meet someone interesting now, but try to avoid appearing as though you're just not interested. So you wanna um, avoid seeming uninterested in a relationship. Keep in mind that prospective suitors, they'll move on to someone who is more engaging. So try to balance that out. And with these two cards paired together, the Nine of Swords, something could be troubling you, troubling you regarding the relationship you're in. Don't ignore your gut feelings. Okay, it's paired with the Seven of Swords. Uh, don't ignore your feelings about what's troubling you. It's paired with the Seven of Swords. Uh, trust. You're going to have to trust whatever, whatever is going on. Trust what they're telling you. Okay, if you're suspicious about your partner, you have to talk about it. But don't ignore your gut feelings at the same time, okay? And then if you're in the market, you're looking for someone, uh, don't get too carried away about believing everything they say and don't get carried away believing all is what it seems. Because the Nine of Swords is about trust and it's paired with the Seven of Swords you also want to balance that out by trying to avoid a, appearing that you're just not interested. Because they, they'll be able to, to detect 
that they'll pick up on that and then they'll just move on to someone's, someone else who's more engaging. Okay, so you're, you're trying to balance between trusting what's real and what's not real, but you have to tr balance that out because you don't want to turn people off. Because they'll pick, like I said, they'll pick up on the fact that you're not engaging or you don't seem interested. So, um, that's going to be the challenge. And now let's move on to the outcome. Now we have the Fool card. Now, when it comes to love, the Fool card, it indicates... Well, it indicates that you're probably not ready for a commitment. At least, not yet. So, it could be, or even though others could be pressuring you for one right now, just know now is probably not the time. There's nothing wrong with having fun. And indeed, this card is a positive time for your love life. Lots of fun seem to be in the offing and that this is what you really want now in, in, in if you're in an existing relationship. Uh, pretty much is showing that you, you prefer to have fun and if you're in a relationship you want it looks like you want to have fun in the relationship. You're not really trying to get too serious. But if on the other hand, you're looking for a new relationship and hopefully love, then make sure you don't let your desire for fun let you overlook the real thing should it come your way now. So when you're wrapped up in having fun, it can be easy to overlook the possibilities in a new relationship. Just remember that true love is not always instant. It's not always instant. So you need to make sure you're aware that it could be creeping up on you. Okay, so don't let too much fun um, make you miss out on opportunities because pretty much your head is set on fun, fun, fun. And then we have this card paired with the Hermit card. Now it's possible that a romance from your past will be rekindled at this time. Or it's on its way to be rekindled. Or it could be coming towards you. Just ask yourself, is that what you really want? It seems that romantic, rela romantic relationships are not currently a priority for you right now. If your head says that you want nothing more to do with the romantic relationship, take a look at your behavior. Does it align with that analysis? Because keep in mind, in a committed relationship, you might have been moving in different directions for a while now. Make sure to make the time and effort to stay connected in order to keep the sparks alive. And with these two cards paired together, like I said, the full card is about having fun, being carefree. Um, you're probably not looking for a relationship right now, but don't um, don't lose sight that someone um, that's right for you, or the one that you've always dreamed about, is knocking, is around the corner or coming towards you because. You could miss out on them by just wanting to have fun. So, um, it's paired with the Hermit card. Now, uh, like I said, someone could be coming towards you, but you may miss out because you're so focused on having fun. And this person could be someone from your past. Now, um, you may recognize it and you may not. Because with the full card, it's, it's easy to, to not recognize it. Okay? So, at this time, keep your eyes open. Have fun and make sure you uh, know what's going on at the same time.
because you don't want to miss out on something that could be great for you. Okay, even though it's, it's just it's all in the two cards, it's pretty much showing that you're not really looking for romance. But keep your eyes open because you never know. So Sagittarius, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day.